Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Yesterday I posted a video about third class Russian trains and today a video about second class known in Russian as coupe. It's a step up from third, it's a step down from first and it's a really happy medium I love to travel on. Let's take a look. Second class trains are a step up from a completely open, open carriage to a carriage separated into nine different private sections. Within each section you have four beds and unlike third class, the compartment has a door for privacy. If you have a group of four, maybe a family of four, a private cabin is the perfect and most comfortable way to travel on Russian trains. If you're traveling on your own, then you could be placed with three people you don't know. But many people much prefer that to sitting in a train of 50, 50 plus people they don't know in third class. Like third class, each compartment has storage above and below the beds. Many of the new trains have plug sockets, some have USB sockets and some even have Wi-Fi. The oldest ones of course have nothing of the sort. No plug sockets, no USB sockets, no Wi-Fi and many only have just a couple of plug sockets for the whole carriage in the corridor so you have to charge your stuff in public and keep an eye on it. For safer and more comfortable trips some trains offer female only and male only compartments so many women go for that female only option. Having purchased a ticket at a female compartment, you can be sure that only women will be your neighbours, which a lot of women like for a private cabin. The toilets in the second class are the same as the third class, but of course with less people, so they are much less busy, much less often, so there's rarely a queue. During the day, the beds double as chairs where people sit to eat on the table which is between the beds. The price of a coupe is often around half the price of first class and that's about double the price of third class. I often travel in second class when I'm traveling in the daytime. If I need to spend some daylight hours awake on a Russian train, I don't want to be in an open third class carriage. I, and I definitely don't need the comfort of a first class private cabin, so coupe, second class is a happy medium. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information and seeing what life is like on a second class Russian train and coming up next is a video about my first class train experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.